juice here. It is currently October. Uh, Oct Thursday, October 20th, 2009. And today I'm just going to do a video on where do I live and what is there to do where I live. I have a power or a keynote presentation that I'm going to use to help me. So, I'll not give you specifics like my address and all that stuff. So, this PowerPoint will be on my website. So, you're probably wondering why would I want to do a video like this? Well, Jake Malloy, one of the people I subscribe to on YouTube, asked his viewers if or if like he wants to get an idea of where his viewers live and what there is to do well where do i live i live in washington state i live in the western part of washington eastern the western part is like seattle to port angeles pacific ocean ish Eastern Washington is like Leavenworth, Lake Chelan, like the basically the desert of the state. Okay, so what is Washington like? Well, where I live, it's quite, the climate is rainy and humid. Um, like you will see in this picture. Seasonal, it's cloudy in the fall, rainy, sunny-ish. Winter, rainy, snowy, sometimes a little bit of sun. Um, in the winter, or the spring, rainy, summer, rainy, su sunny. Spring, it kind of gets a little warm and sunny. Well, we're, what I like to do, basically, in the Seattle area is there you could go to the space needle which is like the cn tower which is this picture and also i'll show you a picture of the space needle but the space needle does cost quite a bit of money and it's i wouldn't really recommend it but still if you wanted to go up there and see around Seattle and the sound. You could also go to the EMP. I'm not sure what that is or what it stands for, but it's basically like a music dealio thing. That's really fun. I do recommend that. Uh, Pacific Science Center. That's what the PSC stands for, if you're going to view this later on my website. Uh, Pacific Science Center. It's basically science is really cool. They have so much stuff you can do there. There's also the Seattle Aquarium, which is really good. It has an outdoor and an indoor aquarium. So you could go do that. It's fun for pretty much all ages. You could go to the Woodland Park Zoo. Sea animals. It's a really good zoo. Recommend that. Or if you want, you can go to Tacoma and go to the Point Defiance Zoo, which is also pretty good. You can go to San Juan Islands. Some of the ones that I do recommend, because there are many, are uh, Friday Harbor, which is on the San Juan Island. Orcas Island, which is really good for whale watching. That's why it's called Orcas Island. Uh, Whibby Island. Go to Camp Casey, it's really cool. It's like an old military base, which I'll put, there's a picture. Uh, you can also go shopping, basically. We have some really cool uh, shopping places, like Pike's Place Market, where you... They do have this one part where you can catch your own fish. It's really cool if you buy it, obviously. You can also, there's so much stuff there. Original Starbucks is in there, so go check that out. Um, Puget Sound, 
You, there is a harbor tour that you can catch on one of the piers. Just get a, go to the locks. It's really cool if you like boats. Also, with going to San Juan Islands, you will be getting on a ferry, which some people get kind of queasy, especially when the water is really choppy. You can go to Theo's Chocolate Factory, which is a chocolate factory. I haven't been there, but my mom says it's really cool. So does my sister. Or you could go to Seahawks, Mariners, Huskies, or Sanders game. What to do east of the sound? Well, you could go or, or more west to the sound, I should say. More west, uh, you could go to Pacific Ocean, hike, go hike Mount Rainier, go to Mount St. Helens. Mount St. I haven't never been to Mount Rainier, but I hear it's really cool, especially hike. Uh, Mount St. Helens, it's they have a really good. Uh, is it called visitor centers that's really neat we went there in eighth grade it's kind of crappy outside that day it was snowing when we got up towards the crater it was pretty cold and we didn't get to see the crater because there was clouds blocking it so if you want to do that make sure it's a good day check the forecast all that stuff we do have a rain forest now why do I put that in quotes? Well, because it's basically like a forest and rain, pretty much. I've only driven through there at night with my parents. Western Washington is a really good place to go skiing, snowboarding. Stevens Pass is one of the better ski resorts here in Washington. So Kwame Pass is closer to me, but the snow is kind of uh, iffy. You could go shopping in Leavenworth. They have a lot of cool shops there. All older shops. Lake Chelan. Just a good place to go swimming in the summer. It's really nice. I haven't been there for a couple of years. Now, you're probably wondering. Now that I gave you some information, what do I like to do? Well, mainly hang out with friends, basically. Go to any of the malls. I recommend Alderwood Mall. It's really cool. They have an Apple store. Yeah, you're probably wondering why I mentioned that. Well, because you know me. Apple fan. Hate PCs. I'll do a video on that. Why I don't like PCs. Uh, North Bend. UK, uh, North Bend and Tulalip, they have outlet malls. Get some really good deals and stuff. Seahawks games, I do like to go into those. It's exciting. It's a whole different experience than just sitting at home watching it on your TV. Yes, the Seahawks do suck, but it's a really cool experience. We are one of the loudest fans in the NFL, as you may know. 12th man. That's the reason. Uh, San Juan Islands, I like going there. It's really neat. So, just going to tell you where I live again. Washington, Seattle, which I live about 30 minutes away. The Alderwood Mall is about 15, 10 minutes away. My high school is 15 minutes away, by the way. Yeah. My website is Jace.
is not that much Facebook that has to be I'll just set it to private. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything. Oh yeah, there's also the live uh, web chat. If you click on the live on my website, the live link on my website, there is the live chat running 24-7. 24 hours, 7 days a week. And thanks for watching. Take care.